rambling in here. All right, let me let me just say something real quick about this whole misinformation that they talked about yesterday when the um, you know when you had the Surgeon General come on and talk about misinformation and how they're going to crack down on that. They're watching social media platforms so they can catch people on Facebook that are putting out misinformation. Let's let's just be honest and call it what it is. It's a lack and loss of freedom of speech because here's the thing, it's a, it's a public platform. It's not something, Facebook was never out there, you know what? Everything that happens on Facebook, when we when we were when it first came out people were just talking to each other like oh yeah you won't believe this and we you could tell jokes you could tell do whatever you wanted to do whatever you said no one read into that and thought this is the most accurate information this is all truth and I should go with it no one thought that but this administration has deemed it their responsibility to go and put a maybe call it a lockdown a crackdown whatever you want to call it they're trying to um, mute all the people's voices that want to be heard. So if now misinformation, misinformation can you know considered by who? So if the Biden administration, if anything goes against what they say in regard to uh, COVID nineteen, that would be misinformation. Correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. So what I'm going to tell you right now is. When you have people that are dictating what you hear, there's no difference in that than North Korea running their uh, news outlets, Russia making sure that everything that you hear is just what they want you to hear. It's the same difference. If you don't see it that way, then you're not paying attention. Pay attention to what's happening. So if they say that the vaccine is perfectly safe, Okay, there's been people that got it and they've been perfectly fine. I have family members that got it and were perfectly fine. My wife got the vaccine and she still had trouble with her arm where she had it where it's bothered her for months now. So to say that it's perfectly safe and fine, we don't really know that. But for them to say it, you, you, I mean, you get to hear them talk about, oh, it's perfectly safe, go ahead. Well, why is it that for a long time they were willing to give it to whoever and now they're like, well, we can't give it to people younger than 12 years old because they know if children start dying, you can't explain. You can explain anyone else. Like, let's say uh, I get it and I, I die of something else. They can claim COVID. All these kids, which haven't been dying of COVID, all of a sudden start dying after they had the vaccine. How are they going to explain that? They can't. So what I'm telling you is be careful and don't just take their word for it. All this is is one more thing for them to put out there. You know what? We're going to control misinformation. No, what they're doing is controlling speech. You want to see a, just little by little. They keep taking little by little by little till it's gone and you don't even notice it happened. Trust me, people. That's what you hear. You hear the government say, trust us. Trust me. You can't trust someone that tells you to trust them. Let's remember that. If you have to tell somebody to trust you, why? Why do you have to tell them that? They either trust you or not. If they'd come out and they just put the vaccine out there and said, hey guys, we got this for y'all, please go ahead and take the vaccine and, and let's help fight this. No, they're, they're pushing it. You know what, we'll give you lotteries, we'll give you everything we can give you but now they're turning around and saying, you know what? We're going to remove misinformation. And Facebook is just the start. When they start saying Twitter, you know what? We, we, we'll see what we can do as far as controlling Twitter. Right now they can control Facebook because they control Zuckerberg. Right? Zuckerberg. Or however you want to say his name. Oh, Zuck. I'm telling you right now. We are in a change in culture. We are in a change in our government where now... Big Brother, the man, is into everything. If you're just sitting back there going, yeah, let's avoid misinformation. Misinformation is different if it's coming from... Now, here's the thing. Here's what I would have an issue with. If you're coming from the CDC, but we're like, hey, we're, we're going to crack down because the CDC's been 
uh, sending out information that's not accurate. We're going to make sure, we're going to double check and make sure before it comes out it's accurate. That'd be one thing. But we're talking a public platform where people can put anything they want out there. Now it's being determined whether or not it's misinformation. By who? The left. So if it doesn't fit with their narrative, with their, um, with what they want to put out there, they can tag it as misinformation and limit what you say about COVID-19. Guys, I'm telling you right now, don't believe everything you hear from the left. It's some bull crap and they think they have control. Just watch. Mark my words. Things will start getting worse in regard to control. Misinformation. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Misinformation meaning I'm not going to allow you to hear what you want to hear. Only what the government deems you should hear. Pay attention, people. Pay attention. Because the government is not your friend right now. Because the Biden administration is in control and they suck. And they're trying to change everything. We need to get them out of there. I'm telling you right now, Biden needs to go. He did not have the cognitive. I don't know who's running the government. 57% of the people in the United States, not just Republicans, not... No. 57% of all the people in the U.S. that were polled do not think Biden is in control and they don't know who is in control. I'll tell you who some of the people are. Big Tech. Just a bunch of these executives, and let me tell you, Nancy Pelosi's pulling those strings too, but she didn't. she's not even brighter. Between Nancy Pelosi, Kamala Harris, and Biden, the three of them combined, I'm not sure they would pass the SAT if they used each other's wit. I'm just saying, we have kids smarter than them. I don't know what we're going to do, but it needs to be changed soon and fast. And I'm tired. I'm ready. I'm ready to pull away from the U.S., because if the U.S. is going to be run by Biden, I don't want to be a part of it. And I don't want to leave the U.S. I want to be part, in the United States, but part of a better community. If that means Texas secedes or a group of states secede or split, I'm fine with that. But you know what? It's time for change. It is time to make a change and get away from this misinformation crap. Jen Psaki, enough coming back around to that. I'll, I'll get around to that. Yeah, right. Bull crap. Do your research, people. I'm telling you. Things are changing, and it is not good right now. Rambler Man, out.